Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. <laughs> I was up until 1 a.m. working in my office. I got my blog post posted at 11.59 p.m. It would have been a lot sooner, but I was having some server issues with my photos uploading. So, I got it up in time. Literally, <laughs> just in time. Whoa. Uh -oh. um, and then I was up working on my vlogmas video but i'm happy that was up early for you guys i am currently carrying little brother we are starting our day with advent okay it's december 17th so we're looking for day 17 of advent i think it's down here look under the christmas tree turn day turn, 17 turn, turn. it's mommy's turn my turn eh. I can't get it open this there we one. go this one. oh that one's like sunken what are you doing I'm opening my advent calendar interesting yeah yeah all right day 17 yeah. for the wine yeah yeah Hope for something good, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a red. Yeah. Make big red. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't fall. Cabernet Savion. It's a red. So I have quite the collection over here. Um, here's four reds and one white. Do people really like red wine that much? I don't know. Not my thing. It is now a little after 1 p.m. We just went over to our foster care agency to pick up some Christmas gifts for little brother. Every year, our foster agency gives gifts to the children in their care. So for the past two years, uh, Sebastian has gotten gifts from them. And this year, little brother got some gifts from them. It was a really great system. I just pulled up. I told them my name. I popped my trunk. They put it in my trunk. And I was good to go. It was amazing. Didn't have to get the kids out of the car, which I always appreciate. But I figured since we had to leave the house, I might as well stop at Publix on the way home and get the rest of the things that I needed for the Christmas party so that tomorrow I don't have to leave and I can just stay home and focus on cleaning and cooking and baking and all of that. So I'm going to go get a few things. I ordered a sub for lunch. So should be yummy. You ready to go to Publix? Yeah. Yeah. We got home a little while ago. I put the groceries away, got both boys down for a nap, and now I thought I would share with you what we received from our foster agency. Remy, you checking it out? I actually haven't gone through this yet either, so I have no idea what's in here, so I'm excited to see it with all of you. So this is, oh, that's cute, a duckling stack. I play, I learn. This is for ages three months plus. That is super cute. So like a little um, plush stacking toy. That's fun. Let's see, what's this? Oh my gosh, how cute. A Snugabug musical critter. That's not for you, Rem. That's not for you, that's for the baby. <laughs> so much fun stuff in here. Okay, let's see, what's this? Animal tails. Oh, it um, feels like, like, a, like a fabric book. I think that's what it is. That's what it feels like. We have a baby water mat. These are great for tummy time. I'm sure he'll like that. And then this, just like the animals. Hmm. Cute little fabric book as well. Reading this cloth book with your baby has a lot of benefits. It strengthens the bond between you and your baby and it develops essential skills for your baby. Cute. And then let's see, what's this? This is some some kind of plush critter, like a little ball, ball thing, ball plush critter. All right, what is this? Last but not least, we have baby rattles. So there's all kinds of different baby rattles in here, which I'm sure, oh, here we go. A dumbbell, an IQ ball, 
music note. These are so cute. A trumpet, tambourine, a mobile phone, and a dragonfly. I'm sure that Sebastian will get a hold of these and run through the house rattling them all over the place. <laughs> so it'll be a toy for both of them. That is so cute. I'm so, so thankful for our, for our foster agency for doing this every year. They're incredible. I absolutely love our agency. They've been nothing but great to us, um, especially our, I don't know what she is technically called, like our foster licensing agent person. I don't know. We have a direct contact and she is absolutely amazing and we just love her so much and I'm just beyond thankful for everything that they do for us and for foster families and our community. They are so great. So now I'm going to go stash this away. I have to wrap all of this for Christmas. While the boys are napping, I'm gonna get started on a little treat that I'm making for our Christmas party. I'm making these pretzel chocolate M&M bites. I've made them in the past. I actually shared a Christmas treat recipe on my channel for Christmas in July a few years ago, so I'll link it down below. The recipe for that isn't there, but it requires me to unwrap um, all of these. So I need to unwrap all these kisses and I'm making some Rolos, so I'm gonna unwrap all the Rolos as well. And I know if I do that while Sebastian is up, he's gonna try and eat the whole bag of chocolate. So I am going to sit down, start unwrapping these and catch up on uh, the Real Housewives of Orange County. I was thankfully able to get my chocolate pretzel bites done during nap time. I am so glad that they are done. That is something I can check off of my Christmas party to-do list. So that's done. Again, I will link the video in the description box below that shares that recipe. I actually had to go back and watch it to reference it, um, but so happy those are done. I have been working on laundry. I just got all of the boys' laundry done and folded. I still need to put it away. And David is currently in the bathroom giving both the boys a bath. I did ask David to give the boys a longer than usual bath because I really want to get Sebastian's room clean today. And it is so hard for me to get his room clean when he is in here because he just wants to play with everything. So I did wash his sheets today. I put them back on his bed before nap time. So I kind of just fixed that up. Um, put his books away. Clear all of this off. He has way too many stuffed animals, uh, but I need to, I just kind of want to take everything off the shelves, dust, just refresh everything. It's not in horrible shape, but it definitely needs to be straightened up. So I'm going to pull everything out, uh, the, the rug, the table, all of that out, clean the floors. So I'm hoping this takes no longer than a half an hour. I did take some of his Christmas books and put them in the garage in a bin because we just had too many books. His shelves are overflowing. So the Christmas books that we have already opened and read, some of them went back into the bin, but here's the before. Here is the after. Everything is dusted, wiped off, floors are vacuumed. The bed's still a little bit of a mess, but he's about to go to sleep. Dresser's cleaned off. This is one of the things I wanted to accomplish today, so I'm happy that it's all clean. Whoa, do you have a clean room? clean sheets that's the best mommy loves clean sheets right that's your nativity set no it doesn't go in your bed you ready to open your advent book oh yeah we already did that today let's open your book yeah all right let's open our advent book best part of the day huh Here, you put it on the table. Good job. Oh, yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh. Jingle all the way. That means that we can get Jingle down and he's going to read a story to us. You want to get your jingle? Look, he's on the table. Get jingle. The little doggy. He's going to read this story to us. Look, this is his book. Jingle all the way. And that's jingle. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to get in bed and read? Jingle? Jingle. Take him to your bed. He's going to read to you. And 
we need a book too. It is now 9.14. I am torn between taking a shower, editing this vlog, getting it ready for tomorrow, and then going to sleep, or staying up late and continuing to clean and bake. That sounds like it would be the most productive thing to do, but I have been dragging all day since I didn't go to bed until after 1 a.m., so I think the best idea is for me to get some good sleep tonight and then hopefully have more energy tomorrow. I have all day tomorrow and then I have most of the day Saturday to get things done, so I think I'm going to call it a night and go to bed early. So anyway, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone!